it is very very competitive i'm not even joking with you it is so competitive you have to get above 300. nigeria is a very corrupt corrupt country so most times you also have to know people that know people that know people the course is very demanding and nepotism nepotism is really working in this country let's not even lie i wrote jam in 2019 and i scored hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mirabel ome kenneth i am a 500 level medical student and in today's video i'm going to be talking about how i got into medical school in 2021 versus how to get into medical school in nigeria in 2025 so if you're ready for this video why don't you grab your jotter and yeah let's get right into it <laughs> All right, so I think properly to introduce this blog, I should start from how I got into medical school. As we all know, getting into medical school here in Nigeria is a very tough one. It is very competitive because the course is very demanding and also the route which I got into medical school is not the same route everybody as a Nigerian would get into medical school with. All right, so I wrote JAMB in 2019 and I scored an amount of, I'll put it, score here i wouldn't say it i scored this in in um jump and so because of that i didn't get into medical school i was rather giving physiology here in my school that story is such a funny story but i came into medical school thinking i was going to study medicine but eventually i was giving physiology so when i sorted like asked people from the registry here in my school they said that my jam score wasn't up to the cut of mark that it took for medical students in that year 2019 so they said the only way i could get into medical school thereafter was to um was to do um physiology for two years and if i get a cgpa of above 4.5 i could switch to medicine thereafter mind you i did physiology first year second year i was already in my third year um before i actually switched so i didn't get up to 4.5 but i was up to 4.0 so just know that and i think for that year they kind of took from people that had above 4.0 rather rather than 4.5 because 4.5 here in my school is very competitive you have to get above 80 not even above 70 to get an a and so with that your credit units and everything would also lower your chances of getting that so yeah I applied into medical school in 2021 and um, yes, the application process then in my school was just to write a letter on why you really wanted to study medicine and I think from there they will check your like your grades in their system and all you get. So yeah, that was it. I applied by like April and I got into medical school in like October, November of 2021. It was such a face for me because I was coming from where I was known to where I wasn't known. So it wasn't so easy for me. But the main thing is that I switched. But here in my school, if you're switching, you have to repeat a year. So I didn't switch to 300 level medicine, but rather I switched to 200 level medicine. So I started all over from 200 level, meaning that I had like a repeat year, something like that. And currently I'm in my fifth year now. I'll be entering my sixth year like later this year when I write my third MBBS exams. So yeah, that's just my whole story. Trust me that how I got into medical school was by the grace of God. It wasn't easy because first of all, I didn't have up to 4.5 CGPA, but God did it for me and I was able to, and it touched the school authorities had to like take from people that had 4.0 and above. And by God's grace, I was selected amongst the people that were to move to medicine. We were like 20 of us that switched. No, like switching, we were like not up to 10. Then people that crossed over from another school also joined. And also people that um that did NYSC before and coming back again to medical school also joined. So in total, we were 20. So now, how do you get into medical school in 2025? let's get right into that so number one to get into medical school without any hassle without any trouble of taking you back you have to get above 300 
in jam to get it especially for my school it is very very competitive i'm not even joking with you it is so competitive you have to get above 300 i think then when i wanted to switch i think they were taking above 270 and i had that so yes that was it so but now in 2025 i think it's just safe to say that you get above 300 i don't know if they're going to increase it more than that but i think it varies based on how jam the students that were jam that year how their scores were so it may be lower than 300 maybe higher than it depends on the school but it's not only your jam that matters your um your post utme too you have to do very well in it and all and i don't know how they do it again then you would have like an interview section but i don't know if they do that now or it's just post utme so yes that's just it you have to get above 300 if you want to get medicine straight up here in Nigeria. Yes, it's a very competitive course. It demands everything from you. I don't know how, if I should say this, but like being smart, you have to be smart and also be a, be a hard worker. You have to be disciplined because you cannot be smart and not be a hard worker in medical school. You have to combine both to survive in medical school okay so that's one process second process is jupeb so people are medically i'm just talking about mind you my own view of how to get into medical school in nigeria here is based on how i've met people and asked them how they got into medical school so i have listed them out and i'm going to tell you but in case the 300 and above jam score stuff does not work for you you can go into jupeb so I have friends who did JUPEB in my school, some people in other schools, and then they kind of make their exams, their final exams of JUPEB tough. So like they would pick like only two or three people, that is the two highest and or the three top students from that JUPEB class. I don't know much about JUPEB, but I know that some people crossed over to medicine from JUPEB, but they didn't go to 200 level, they went back to 100 level you get so that's it so you can go through the jupeb routes or if 300 and above jam score doesn't work and jupeb doesn't work you can also try out switching from your set course because that's what i did so you can always try that out i think that works better for people in private universities than public universities because i have a friend who was in a public university she was also giving physiology but she could not switch she had to be retaking jab every year to see if it will work but it was so so tough and i don't know if she finally got it but i don't think she finally did but yeah that's just basically it so mostly people in private uni have the chance of being able to switch to medicine from their set course for my school when i switched it was only physiology biochemistry anatomy microbiology students that could actually switch but since i switched and i've been seeing people switching i've seen they still taking students from nursing med lab science i think public health yeah they, just make sure that your course is centered around medicine kind of so you can always switch but you have to have about 4.5 cgpa because i guess it's easier now to get 4.5 cgpa than then because I know it was very hard then to see a lot of first class students because first class in my school starts from 4.5. So yeah, that's it. So for then I wrote my letter to the school officer, but I think now you have to write your letter to the registrar of your university. So I'm talking about my own university. So the, base, the main thing is for, for whatsoever university you get into, just make sure you make inquiries in the admissions office before doing anything. I am not an admissions officer. So in case you have any questions, you can always text me in my handles, either Instagram or TikTok. I'm going to link it down in the description and put them on the, on the screen for you. So you can always follow me and then text me. I'm going to reply you. Trust me, I'm going to reply you. But don't ask me questions that I cannot give answers to. I am, mind you, I am not an admissions officer. I am just a student asking questions around and relaying it back to you all. So the next one I know about uh, is the people who studied another course, like they already did, like they have a BSc, 
you cannot cross after like your bsc degree you have to go and do nysc then come back and reapply for medicine they are most likely to take you here because you already have like a first-hand experience from a bsc course so there's high chance for you to get in but i think you have to have like a first class or a second class upper from your previous 